Hi guys, no, long time no see. Um, I do apologise about um, my absent videos. Um, I'll explain that shortly. Um, so I'm just catching up with you guys now. Because um, right now, even though I look a bit <sighs> tired, <laughs> my makeup is not very good right now. I can't weigh too much, but anyway, I feel good. It's just shadowing as well. It's not very good lighting in here. Um, yeah. Um, gosh, my last video or my last few videos was to do with um, I was finding out I was pregnant, and. Um, we got to hear the heartbeat. Um, I thought on that video, I thought, oh well, because I don't know how far along I am. I'm wondering if we can hear anything. So I thought, well, just try it with the Doppler and see if we can hear it. And we could hear him. I was like, well, you can't really hear the baby's heartbeat until you're like past a certain week or a certain um, stage in your pregnancy. So I thought, well, and. Um, and then we had the scan, uh, we had the scan, they call it the 12 week or the de the dating scan, but we knew that, you know, it might, we was preparing not for it to be uh, 12 weeks or the, you know, um, because we didn't know how far along we was going to be or anything like that. So, um, so we had the scan and then in there. Um, it was found that I was 12 weeks and 6 days at the time. So, and that was about 4 weeks ago now, about 4, four, four to 5 weeks. So, and today, da -da -da, I am 16 weeks and 3 days pregnant. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy. And yes, I'm getting a bump now and I'm... Feeling huge and uncomfortable. I was starting to. But <laughs> yeah, all the pregnancy fun <laughs> starts now. So, um, anyway, um, for my absent videos, back at the beginning, I fell very ill. Well, it was sort of synced into finding out, you know, sort of in line with, with finding out. Um, it comes as a shock as well. Uh, that's why I did the pregnancy test, because I wanted my own little confirmation. So, um, yeah, I had the norovirus and I was very, very sick and my stomach was bad. And I genuinely, genuinely felt ill and... Um, so, yeah, that was quite a surprise as well, um, along with the tests. So, uh, yeah, my husband will be back soon from work. Um, yeah, um, so I, I ended up in hospital for drips, fluids and anti-sickness because even after that, when it we knew, like, when you don't know you're pregnant you don't really like have many symptoms you don't you just pass it off or you just don't notice or but when you know you're pregnant it kind of like daunts on you and you're like sick and backache and and all that and it's like oh god <laughs> so it was kind of like that for me and the morning sickness was mm, it was very bad very very bad wasn't it? Mummy was very sick, wasn't she? Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah, he's got a, a lunch face. He's been eating his food. Hello. Uh. Ew. No, we don't want to see your mouth full of food. No. Uh, you go and play out with Patch. <laughs> go and play out with Patch. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was very sick. <laughs> he just doesn't want to miss out any of it. You can't be. You can't be. <laughs> and he's been helping me as well. Everyone's been helping me while I've been very sick. 
<laughs> so cute. Mom, mom. Do you want to go and get a baby wipe and wipe your mouth? No. No, oh, you want to stay dirty and horrible. Blah, no, we don't want sticky dirties. We don't want sticky dirties. Uh, if, I don't know if you can notice, I've got my wool in the background there. I've been making <coughs> some baby hats. That's you. Um, you got boys, great girls, and neutrals. Patch! Patch, yes, and patch in the background. And, um. Ma, ma, ma. I'll show you guys now. Patch! Come on! Come on. Ah. So, um, I've got this one. This oh. one's for baby girl. Yes, thank you, Jensen. <laughs> And this one, thank you. This one's my neutral one. This one's my neutral one. Thank you, Jensen. Um, so we don't know what we're having. So, and this one, this one's also for my friend. She's having a boy. She knows she's having a boy. Um, right. Go and play outside now. Go on. Go and play outside now. Thank you. So I've done them. That's um. That's with crochet, as you can see with my hook. I have different size hooks as well. But anyway, um, it's lighting. Lighting's not very good in here. Oh, no, yeah, I'm picking back up now, so I've stopped being sick. Thank God, because I just felt like I was completely dying. I mean, who wants morning sickness? I know your body's got to adjust, but Jeez, <laughs> it just felt like all I was doing was throwing up and throwing up. No morning sickness, no like no like, no no nausea, just um, the vomiting. Mm. Oh, my nose, and I'm suffering with hay fever, and I can't really take anything because you know it's medicines and that, and I can only do like local treatment, like nose spray and um, cold damp cloths and stuff because I have itchy eyes and that's another reason why I can't wear too much makeup so um, yeah so I'll show you my bump um, while I get a glimpse of baby oh, I have to shove, shove myself off my chair <laughs> I have my uh, mummy, mummy to be top on. So, my, that was another thing as well. My, my boobs were like really, really sore as well at the beginning. So, um, yeah, very, very uncomfortable and. Wearing bras is even more like I can't even wear maternity bras, and um, it just doesn't hold. And you know, like the nursing bras and that, I can, but you know, because they just unclip and you know, it's a little bit different. But um, I'd like my padded bras just without the underwire, so I've had to get the underwired bras. But I've had my husband help me take out the underwire so that it helps to hold. <laughs> so it feels a bit more comfortable. So here we go.